Throw it up to Camp Long. It's tipped out of bounds. A turnover off of the inbound. They went back to Camp Along, and that really proved disastrous. It did. They were kind of stuck down in that corner, struggled a couple times to get the ball out. Results in a turnover. Timeout taken. 12 seconds remaining. Chatham to get the basketball with a chance to take the lead. It's Brown who gets it. Isaiah Brown. Sander loses the handle, gets it back, throws it up and in. 5.6 seconds remaining for Will Sander. W&J comes the other way. And a whistle. Looks like it is a timeout. W&J has taken a timeout with 1.5 seconds remaining. So Will Sander has a chance to be the hero if the defense can come up with the stop. It'll be Zini who triggers in. Zini gets it to the hoop. The layup off the mark by Campalong, and this one is over. Nicholas Campalong unable to convert. Chatham scores a 55-54 victory over Washington and Jefferson. A chance there at the end for W and J. They had the play ready to go. Just couldn't quite get the ball to the basket. What disappointment for W and J. But jubilation for Chatham. The Cougars celebrating. The fans out on the floor storming the court for the victory and the first ever home men's basketball game in the PAC tournament. What a thriller, 55-54.